Tonight, new housing could be coming to the 200 block of Gay Street. That is the area between downtown Knoxville and the Old City across from the Divide at Summit Hill. Tennis reporter Vinny Simlot reports the city hopes this development will help solve some of the housing issues in Knoxville. Vinay? Beth, this is the plan. A seven story building in downtown Knoxville, kind of like Market Square, shops and restaurants at the bottom, apartments above, and a walkway in the middle. I wouldn't say it's Market Square, but it's, it's one of its distant cousins. Developer Tim Hill says this is the benefit of developing in a city. 53 new housing units, shops, and restaurants much closer than they would be in the suburbs. It would require somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 acres to do a similar project. Knoxville Deputy Mayor Stephanie Welch says the city needs this housing because of shortages. And that particularly squeezes people who are on the lower end of the income spectrum. The developers plan to include four units of workforce housing. Rent for those units comes from a percentage of the median income in Knoxville, lower than the normal price for a downtown apartment. We need workforce housing. Uh, we're in a housing crisis. On Thursday, the Knoxville City Council approved a TIF, tax increment financing. It would give the developers about $4 million to develop this property, paid through property taxes collected in the area. City Council Member Amelia Parker says she's worried about parking downtown and doesn't know whether this development would be the best use of a TIF because it only includes four units of affordable housing. I would rather see uh, bigger TIFs and longer TIFs so that we can get the housing needs met in this city. The developer says one of the biggest benefits is bridging the divide between the old city and the rest of downtown. It's not a complete fix, but it's a, it's a, a dramatic improvement. Again, the TIF, the public financing would kick in about $4 million on the project, paid through property taxes. The project is expected to cost around $26 million, and the city says they'll get about $185,000 in new property tax revenue every year from this project. Robin. All right, Vinay, thank you very much.